Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Rocco, the proud superintendent of Hamilton Township School District, and welcome to our annual World Read Aloud Day. Today's very exciting for us in Hamilton Township. Each year during World Read Aloud Day, we have some guest readers for you. Today, we are going to have 10 readers every 30 minutes coming in and reading books to you. So I hope you get an opportunity to hear a bunch of our readers or guest readers that will be here today. For me, it's my favorite book. Today I'm going to read for you A Fine, Fine School by Sharon Creech and pictures by Harry Bliss. And if you've ever had me as a guest reader before, you know this is one of the books that I like to come in and read to you. So if you would, pull up a mat or sit down on the floor here. We're going to have a great read along for A Fine, Fine School. Here we go. Mr. Keene was a principal who loved his school. Every morning, he strolled down the hallway and saw the children in their classes. He saw them learning shapes and colors and numbers and letters. He saw them reading and writing and drawing and painting. He saw them making dinosaurs and forts and pyramids. Oh, he would say, aren't these fine children? Aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? Near Mr. Keene's school, Tilly lived with her parents and her brother and her dog, Beans, in a small house next to a big tree. On Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly's, Tilly went off to school. At school, Tilly learned her shapes and colors and numbers and letters. Sometimes, when she saw Mr. Keene standing in the hallway, he waved. Aren't these fine children? He said to himself, aren't these fine teachers? Isn't this a fine, fine school? On the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, Tilly climbed her favorite tree. And she took Bean on walks and threw him sticks and she pushed her brother on a swing and tried to teach him how to skip. But on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays, Tilly went off to school. Beans and her brother did not like to see her go. Hurry, hurry, hurry home, her brother called. One day, Mr. Keene called all the students and teachers together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on Saturdays, too. The teachers and the students did not want to go to school on Saturdays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers, of all the learning they were doing every day. And so that Saturday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Saturday. What about the swings, her brother called. The following month, Mr. Keene announced, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on Sundays, too. The teachers and the students didn't want to go to school on Sundays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers of all the learning they were doing every day. And so that Sunday, Tilly set off for school. But it's Sunday. What about the skipping, her brother called. The following month, Mr. Keene called everybody together and said, this is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school on holidays, too, on Easter and Ramadan and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Hanukkah, on all the holidays, on every calendar. The teachers and the students did not want to go to school on holidays, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers of all the learning they were doing every day. And so, on Christmas, Tilly set off for school. But it's Christmas. What about Christmas, her brother called. The following month, Mr. Keene called everybody together and said, 
This is such a fine, fine school. I love this school. Let's have more school. From now on, let's have school in the summer too. All summer long, every day. How much we will learn, he said. We can learn everything. We will learn all about numbers and letters, colors and shapes, the Romans and the Egyptians and the Greeks. We will learn about dinosaurs and castles and everything. We will learn everything. The teachers and the students did not want to go to school on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays and all summer long, every single day, but no one knew how to tell Mr. Keene that. He was so proud of the children and the teachers, of all the learning they were doing every day. And so, on the first day of summer, Tilly set off for school. But it's summer! What about summer? her brother called. And that day, Tilly went to see Mr. Keene. She stood in his office in front of his desk. What a fine, fine school this is, Mr. Keene said. What amazing things everyone is learning. Yes, Tilly said, we certainly are learning some things. A fine, fine school, Mr. Keene said. But, Tilly said, not everyone is learning. What, Mr. Keene said? He looked very worried. Who? Who isn't learning? Tell me and I will see that they learn. My dog Beans hasn't learned how to sit, Tilly said, and he hasn't learned how to jump over the creek. Oh, Mr. Keene said. And my little brother hasn't learned how to skip or swing. Oh, Mr. Keene said. And I, she said, but you go to school, Mr. Keene said, to our fine, fine school. True, Tilly said, but I haven't learned how to climb very high in my tree, I haven't learned how to sit in my tree for a whole hour. Oh, Mr. Keene said. That day, Mr. Keene walked up and down the halls, looking at the children and the teachers. Up and down he walked, up and down, up and down. The next morning, Mr. Keene called everyone together. The children and the teachers were very worried. Mr. Keene said, this is a fine, fine school with fine, fine children and fine, fine teachers, but not everyone is learning. The children and the teachers were very, very worried. Mr. Keene said, there are dogs who need to learn how to sit and how to jump creeks. What did he mean? Was he going to make their dogs go to school? There are little brothers and sisters who need to learn how to swing and how to skip. What did he mean? Was he going to make their younger brothers and sisters come to school too? The children and the teachers were very, very, very worried. And you, all of you, children and teachers, you need to learn how to climb a tree and sit in it for an hour, Mr. Keene said. The teachers and the children were very worried. And so, from now on, we will... not have school on Saturdays or Sundays or holidays or in the summer. A huge, enormous, roaring cheer soared up to the ceiling and floated out the windows so that everyone in the town heard the fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers shout, fine, fine, fine. And the fine, fine children and the fine, fine teachers lifted Mr. Keene up and they carried him down the hallway and out the doors and through the town, up and down, in and out. And everywhere they went, the people said, what a fine, fine school with such a fine, fine teachers and fine, fine children and a fine, fine principal. And that's one of my favorite books, A Fine, Fine School. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'd encourage you to go home each night and take an opportunity to read a book.
read a book a night or read a couple of chapters or a couple of pages. You will find that these stories are fun and exciting. I hope also today, during our World Read Aloud Day, you get an opportunity to hear some of our other readers and get interested in some of the books that they have. Have a great day, everybody.